this one time that I was flying back from Seattle and I realized towards the end of the flight that I was in the front row. And I thought to myself, if you hurry, you're gonna be the first person off this plane, which for some reason I thought was a pretty cool thing. Cause this was a kind of, this was a plane that didn't have first class. It was just regular seats. So I thought I'm gonna be the first one off. So as soon as the plane landed, I jumped up, got my stuff and went for the door. And when they opened the door of the plane, it was about this far from whatever the thing you walk away, the thingy is. And I thought to myself, well, I can make that, no problem. And so I jumped from the plane to the walkway thingy and the flight attendant freaked out. And she's like, you can't do that. And I turned and said, well, what do you want me to do now? Jump back? She's like, no, you'll be fine. So when they went to move the little walkway thing, it broke. And now suddenly everyone was stuck on the plane except for me. And I was like, I don't really know what to do. So I'm just gonna go get my luggage and go home. And when I got to the baggage claim for my flight, I was the only one there. And there were all these people and they were standing there and they were saying, what, were you on the flight from Seattle? And I said, yes. And they said, has it landed? And I said, yes. Are people getting off? And I said, well, just me, cause I jumped. And they couldn't understand how I was the only person off the plane and I couldn't really explain it to them. I simply said, I jumped and now the rest of them can't get off. And I have told that story many, many times to people in the airline industry who have said, that is not possible. And I said, well, it's possible because it happened to me. And I think many times in this season, we think this is impossible. I'm not gonna be able to pay my bills. I'm not gonna be able to deal with this. The world will not recover. And we serve a God who has given us a Bible full of stories of him saying, it's possible because I've done it. It's possible because I promise you, I will be with you. And one of my favorite stories in scriptures is about King Jehoshaphat from 1 Chronicles 20. And I would encourage you to read that story today. It tells the story of a king who was being attacked on all sides from all these different armies. And they didn't know what to do. And they felt like it is not possible for us to win. And so what they did is they met together, they prayed together, and they sent out the worshipers ahead of the battle. They said, before we fight, we will worship first because worship brings perspective and worship ushers in the presence of God. And they were defeated. They were not defeated in that battle because they believed in God and trusted him and God provided them the victory. And then it says in 2 Chronicles 20, verse 22, when they began singing, and praising God, the Lord among them struck down their enemies for defeat. And then it also says that the countries around them were amazed because of their faith and their worship over fear.